Good morning. Let us all stand as we welcome each other in this celebration. Today we have the feast of uh, St. Mark Evangelist, who is also a martyr. And as we have welcomed each other, let us also open our hearts to our loving God, who continues to bring to us into this celebration. And let's pray for one another's intentions, lifting up each other in prayer, as well as praying for the whole world, remembering our desired peace, and the end of violence of all kind against humanity, especially human life and the unborn, praying for the poor, families that struggle, and victims of calamities that they find support from generous and kind people. Our entrance song is Christ in me arise. Christ in me arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me arise and I shall rise with you. Be now my vision, open these eyes, showing me all that I must see. Onward to the kingdom, you are the way. Arise in me and I shall rise with you. Christ in me, arise and dispel all the darkness. Christ in me, arise with your power and your strength. Christ in me, pour out your blessing and healing. Christ in me, arise and I shall rise with you. In the name of the Father, and Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Gathered in this celebration, we take this occasion to open ourselves to the grace of God's mercy and compassion. You have shown us the way to the Father. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You give us the consolation of truth, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. Far the good shepherd, leading us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who raised up St. Mark, your evangelist, and endowed him with the grace to preach the gospel, Grant, we pray, that we may so profit from his teaching as to follow faithfully in the footsteps of Christ, 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, clothe yourselves with humility in your dealings with one another. For God opposes the proud, but bestows favor on the humble. So humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your worries upon him, because he cares for you. Be sober and vigilant. Your opponent, the devil, is prowling around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in faith, knowing that your brothers and sisters throughout the world undergo the same sufferings. The God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish you after you have suffered a little. To him be dominion forever. Amen. I write you this brief, briefly through Silvanus, whom I consider a faithful brother, exhorting you and testifying that this is the true grace of God. Remain firm in it. The Chosen One at Babylon sends you greeting, as does Mark, my son. Greet one another with a loving kiss. Peace to all of you who are in Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The favors of the Lord I will sing forever. Through all generations my mouth shall proclaim your faithfulness. For you have said, My kindness is established forever. In heaven you have confirmed your faithfulness. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O Lord, and your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can rank with the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the sons of God? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Blessed the people who know the sh joyful shout. In the light of your countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name they rejoice all the day, and through your justice they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. We proclaim Christ crucified. He is the power of God and the wisdom of God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus appeared to the eleven and said to them, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. 
In my name, they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. In our first reading, St. Peter says that our opponent is the devil and then uses a very interesting metaphor. He says that the devil, like a lion, is both prowling and roaring. But if you think about a lion, a lion does not prowl and roar at the same time. It kind of would defeat the purpose of prowling if he was roaring or trying to sneak up on his prey. And we see that in how the devil, in many ways, will attack us. We see the prowling. Go back to the story when we first hear about the devil and Adam and Eve being sneaky, coming up, using subtle ways to convince Eve to commit sin. To, in our lives, many times we don't even recognize that the devil is trying to influence us. In subtle ways, we may be manipulated into doing things that is not the will of God. The other part of that metaphor is roaring. And of course we see that, how many times in our society we hear the voices screaming, cho almost choking out the wisdom of the gospel. You, you, you may be in the terms of, well, you can't believe that. That's just not politically correct. Or you can't do this. And suddenly, through loud voices, through screaming, through peer pressure, we suddenly are driven to follow the ways of the devil, both sneaky and openly being thinking that we're following the wills of others. It's kind of like... When I was a teenager, my parents would always use that metaphor, well, if your friends jumped off the bridge, would you jump off the bridge? In many ways, the devil uses that concept to get everyone to believe that we need to do that, the roaring. But St. Peter also tells us that we are called to place our cares on Jesus. Despite the fact that we have an opponent that is both sneaky, subtly manipulating us, and an opponent who is out and out, almost screaming at us, we have someone much, much stronger on our side. And that, of course, is our Lord. And you and I are called up to call upon God to be in our lives, as St. Peter reminded us. As Father Thomas mentioned, Today we celebrate the um, evangelist Mark's feast day. And St. Mark is the author of what is we call the second or fourth gospels. Well, it was actually the first gospel written. And while um, not much is known for sure about who Mark is, we know a lot about Mark by the writings and the 16 chapters that he's given to us in his gospel. Most scholars agree that Mark was most likely very much a disciple of Peter and may even have been the, the man who was mentioned in Peter's letter today who was with Peter. And what's important about that is we see Peter's influence many times in the writings of Mark. What we see is a clear statement at the beginning of Mark's gospel. Mark's gospel begins with, the beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So there is no doubt who Jesus is. But throughout Mark's gospel, we see the subtle and not subtle 
evil that was around Jesus, and yet how Jesus continued to overcome that. Jesus continues to walk with us today. No, I might not be able to drink poison and survive physically as we hear in the gospel, but when we follow Jesus, Jesus gives us the strength to overcome what seems to be insurmountable odds. For what reason? To share with everyone the good news of God. So following the example of St. Mark and St. Peter, let us also dedicate our lives to recognize Jesus in them and overcome the challenges of the devil. St. Mark the Evangelist. St. Mark proclaimed the good news of the true Messiah, Jesus the Christ. Let us ask our loving Father to hear our intentions for a world in need of the hope of the gospel. Our response, let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the church may be a living sign of true concern and dedicated care for those who are rejected by our society. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That those who wandered away from the paths of righteousness may hear the voice of Christ, the Good Shepherd, calling them home. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That young people may hear the voice of our Lord, calling them to conversion, and to a life of service, let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That all those who are suffering or are sick may realize that they are loved by God through the care and attention we give them. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. That the de dead may pass through the gate of the sheepfold and rejoice with the shepherd and guardian of their souls. Let us pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. And we pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, for the eternal repose of Milt Tennant, Arcelli Lopez and Angel Sarosa, we pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. And for the intention submitted to us, praying for Leticia P. Ligon, Jeffrey Abweg, Evelyn Dinglasan, and Nathaniel Balba Cardona, we pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. For those in need of strength, healing, and comfort, Prudence Tabaquero, Lorenzo Moran, Barbara Yanchar, Lumi Palacio, Mary Ojeda, Ilda Santias, Susana Tancam, and Naomi and Travis Dumpf, we pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. And for our dearly departed, Belen Teano, Nina Haley, and David Arevalo, we pray to the Lord. Let your goodness be upon us, Lord. Almighty God, assisted by the prayers of St. Mark, faithful herald of the gospel, we bring our intentions before you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become 
our spiritual drink. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we venerate the glory of St. Mark, we offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of praise and humbly beseech you that your church may always persevere in the preaching of the gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For you have built your church to stand firm on apostolic foundations, to be a lasting sign of your goodness on earth, and offer all humanity your heavenly teaching. Therefore, now and for ages unending, with all the hosts of angels, we sing to you with all our hearts, crying out as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus. Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, plenis uncheli et terra, gloria tua, o sana in excelsis, benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, o sana in You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this. All of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, 
Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, all the bishops, priests, deacons, religious, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Mark, Santiago de Compostela, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours. Forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. On this day, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Behold, I am with you always, even to the end of the age, says the Lord. Alleluia. 
and to those who are unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, we now join them in prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that what we have received from your holy altar may sanctify us and make us strong in the faith of the gospel which St. Mark proclaimed through Christ our Lord. We pray to our loving Mother. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And to St. Joseph, hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary, place her trust. With you, Christ, for secure and safe. 
Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to God. Our sessional song is Faith of Our Fathers. Faith of our fathers living still In spite of dungeons, fire and sword Oh, how our hearts beat high with joy Whene'er we hear that glorious word Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Faith of our fathers, we will strive to win all nations unto thee. And true the truth that comes from God, we shall all then be truly free. Faith of our fathers, holy faith, we will be true to thee till death. Have a blessed day, everyone.